what's up guys this is gonna be um one of my first because i'm not sure how these videos are gonna get recorded um no 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 i'm not sure how these videos are gonna get edited and uploaded but i have a few videos that i am going to upload within this new year so this is one of my first uh newer videos of the year and um yeah i'm just coming to y'all bare face this is no makeup on at all no brows on my brows are growing i'm super happy about that they are like in a nice shape i've been shaping them myself um so i'm happy about my little brows um one thing that i will say is that i've been breaking out a lot lately and i know that it's some of it's due to stress some of it's due to hormonal you know that time of the month type stuff and some of it i'm not really even sure if it's like my makeup brushes are dirty or you know me sleeping in my makeup because that's sometimes i get real lazy and i do that but anyway i'm gonna just jump into what you guys already know what this video is about it is some of my favorites beauty like makeup type products that i've been um using a lot of and i've been loving also some new stuff because I have a few new things that I have been trying out and I'm not sure if I love it but I will share it with you just because I just want to put it in a video and I have to like have it separate video because this is not a beauty channel like I'm not really you know a beauty guru or anything um I have all my makeup like set to the side over here so you'll see me like all over here trying to figure out life and my mirror is right here if you can see her I'm gonna be all in the mirror because I don't have contacts. They're actually on the way. So I'll be having contacts in the new year, finally. I don't know what took me so long to order them, but because I'm blind, I'll be all in the mirror. So I may go out of focus a little bit here and there, but that's okay. So for brows, one of the main things that I've been using that I feel like um, has been bomb is the brown pomades from H&M. Yes, the clothing store, H&M. They do have makeup as well, if you do not know. I don't think they sell it online, but if you go in store, they typically, if you go to a larger H&M, they typically have like a little makeup section. And I got two different colors. So when I'm doing a more bold makeup look, I like for my brows to be a little more bold. So I like to go for the darker color and it is in color espresso. Looks like this. It's very, very similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow except the H&M one is super creamy and a fraction of the cost so um the other shade is chocolate which is like that so it's definitely like a more brown type of shade I typically go for the espresso one because I like my brows to be pretty bold and like I don't know I just like them to be like bold I like for them to stand out and not that i do like these extreme makeup looks but majority of the time the like makeup that i'm doing is typically like a bold brow <laughs> um a lash i don't do like extensions but i you know like to pack on mascara and i may do a winged eye and then everything else is just like bronzer <laughs> um highlighter and a bold lip that's it so I kind of want my brows to stand out i don't really do everyday makeup looks like you know the no makeup makeup looks but if i did i definitely use the chocolate because it's a little less crazy so um yeah i'm gonna just do my brows real quick but i've discovered this because they had this massive sale um at h&m they're um oh and i typically brush my brows first i brush them whoop, upward Sorry about that. Let me turn my phone off. Well, turn the volume down, off. Um, I brush my brows upward just so I can like figure out what shape I'm gonna give them. So yeah, I discovered this because uh, I went into H&M and majority of their entire beauty section was on sale. And I was like, okay, are they discontinuing this section? Like, are they no longer going to um, sell their beauty products? And um, that wasn't the case. I don't know if it was like a packaging thing or what, but um, majority of everything was on sale. All of their, just everything. And I didn't even realize that they really had all that stuff. Like they had, they have... Um, lipsticks foundations bronzers highlighters blush um everything that you need like from your like primer like they had everything so 
I was impressed. Um, I actually like the packaging, very sleek. Um, and I was just like, you know what, let me try it out. Like, cause it was super inexpensive. So yeah, that's kind of how I discovered this. And I've been loving this ever since. Um, I got this actually, ooh, it was in the summertime. It was, it had to have been like maybe June, even May probably. Like, so maybe right when like spring hit. Um, and it's been lasting like you can see I have so much left and it's super creamy so a little bit goes a long way it's not like the Anastasia Beverly Hills where it's it gets dried out really quickly uh this is not dried out at all with the Anastasia Beverly Hills I was finding that I actually had to either put people were saying put um eye drops in it put oil in it um spray some setting spray inside of it it was just too much to like make it work um and that's not even because I didn't even leave the cap off like I don't know it just gets that way it gets very very dry after a while so um yeah for this to be like i said a fraction of the cost is bomb so i love um doing my brows with this um i know a lot of people use pencils and pencils are cool but i feel like it's nothing like a brow pomade it just really like it just i don't know if you can tell like look at this brow versus this one it just looks way better so another technique uh, that I've been doing is carving out my brows. I've been doing this for years. It's nothing new and you probably have seen every single makeup guru, person, makeup artist, whatever do this. You just basically put a concealer around the brows and it makes your brows appear to be a little more crispy especially if you're a person who waxes or whatever you do to like get rid of the hairs to make your brows a little more snatched. Um, concealing around them will camouflage you needing to get them touched up and all that type of stuff so that's what I do um just to make them pop more and I typically like to use a shade that's brighter than my skin tone because obviously it's still it like gives you like a perimeter around the brow y'all know so I'm just using um this newer product to me which I do like and um this is the elf 16 hour camo concealer it looks like that um i'm using it in color deep olive i do like this product um just been fairly new within the last maybe four or five months i've been using it and i like it i think it's um creamy i want to say that it uh lasts long i don't know about 16 hours because i sometimes do feel like it breaks up a little bit but my skin is oily so it's kind of hard for things that are supposed to last a very long time to last a long time if I'm not setting it properly even when I set it though to be honest like with powder and setting spray stuff don't last that long like it's not I'm gonna have to retouch my makeup like if I especially if I leave out the house super early in the morning and I have on makeup it's not gonna last me to like a nighttime event like that's not gonna happen um but if I you know it definitely will last me for at least about a good seven hours maybe so or like a whole eight hour shift I don't think that I need to like touch up my makeup but yeah so I just I like this shade because it's not too bright where I feel like I have to like make sure that I'm putting tons of foundation on um to conceal it and like blend but it's also just it just does enough I feel like So we're going to blend that on out. So typically when I'm done, like when I'm getting ready, I like have washed my face and everything. I would go in with a um, primer after I moisturize my face and I'm definitely out of sequence right now because typically I would go in with the primer before I do my brows, but I went on ahead and do my brows first. So the primer that I've been loving and using lately is the Poreless Putty Primer from e.l.f. and this is a newer collection of theirs. Um, I've been having this one for, I don't know, a few months now and I've been loving it. Uh, as you can see, it's in a jar like this, so you definitely have to have clean hands. That's another thing, like it doesn't come in a tube where it's easier to like not contaminate, which that's something that I don't like about this product, but um, I feel like it's a pretty decent product. Like 
like I said, stuff doesn't last a super long time for me because I have oily skin. So I try to like set everything as much as possible, especially on areas that get typically the oiliest. So I get oily around my brows, which I'm like, oh, I should have put on the primer first. Um, I get oily on my lids, especially on my nose, of course. And of course, the forehead definitely gets oily. So next, I'm going to go in with my foundation. And the foundation that I have been loving this year, not like, not just, um, you know, recently, but in general, is the Fenty foundation. When I first started using this, I wasn't a super fan just because I felt like it wasn't full coverage enough. And a lot of people were saying like, oh, this is the best foundation because it gives you like this like skin like full coverage look. And I was like, this is not full coverage unless I'm like going to put on like three coats. I don't know. And I don't feel like my dark spots are like crazy prominent, except like in my problem areas. But on my general face like regular little dark spots it didn't cover up so i was like okay this kind of sucks but it is a really good foundation i do like it um it's just not as full coverage as i would like for it to be another one of my like faves that i kind of went back to this year is the clinique the beyond perfecting foundation i like the fact that it's a foundation and a concealer in one um sometimes i use it just as a concealer or to spot conceal around my face uh, if i have any breakouts or anything like that i like to put that on and then i put on another foundation that's even more full coverage so i like both of those um they're definitely like dead now i need to re-up but i actually just picked up the ill maquillage foundation and i've been testing this for you have 14 days to test it and you can send it back and get your money back or basically you don't even pay for it. you pay for the shipping and that's it um and after the 14 days they're gonna charge you 40 dollars for this foundation this foundation i believe is 20 something I want to say it's like 28 or something like that 25 28 dollars and the Fenty I believe is 38 or 42 one of those prices so I was like well if this is 40 dollars it better be equal to or better than that and it's supposed to be like skin like amazing matchback but I don't feel like it's such a matchback for me I've tried it a couple of times without doing any correcting I want to see what it's like if I do like a color corrector so I have over here the like infamous la girl pro concealer the color corrector and orange corrector color um i'm gonna put that on some of my like darker spots and blend that out and see what that's about so i'm gonna just take this which has also been a little favorite. This is a like makeup beauty sponge and this is also from H&M. So I'm gonna take the butt part of it and just tap to blend in um, this color corrector. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with this foundation. So, I'm gonna give it a little shake shake. And it has a pump. And I'm going to, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put some on the back of my hand, right? Now, typically what they showed in like videos and stuff on Instagram was that they like pump it onto the brush and then do circular motions on the face. I've tried that several times. I'm not a fan. I don't know so I'm gonna go ahead and paint it on with the foundation brush and then I'm gonna blend it out with an actual makeup sponge and see how that works cuz I'm ready to send this back y'all I don't know I'm just not a super fan of it and I don't know if I'm just 
need to find a technique that works best for my skin or what but in the videos that i've seen on instagram i swear people like we're looking flawless and i feel like it's not flawless for me so let's see look it made my hand look flawless but so i'm just taking this um real techniques miracle sponge it's the body sponge not the regular face one but the entire body one and i do like this one this is also a favorite of mine because it gets to a lot of surface area so if you're in a rush it's easier to blend it doesn't like take so much time I do have my exposure turned up a little bit just because um, it, it was looking a little weird, especially with this light right here. So that could be, this could not be a true depiction of what it really is. Um, but even looking in the light, in the mirror right now with the light, I'm like, okay. It doesn't look too bad. I feel like the color corrector is doing something. Maybe it's just the orange that's blending in with the foundation. I don't know, but we're gonna do a little bit more. I'm gonna put on, put a little bit more on, put it straight onto the like brush and see how that goes, and just put it in like the areas that are like my most like darkest spots and stuff. Okay. I mean, it's not too bad. I don't know. I'm. I don't know. Maybe I'm just so used to the Fenty, and I'm so used to Clinique, and I. My holy grail is the L'Oreal Pro Matte uh, Infallible Foundation, which I've been using for years now. So I think I'm just so used to those. And I also another foundation I guess I can talk about that I've been loving is two. It's two different ones. So this is actually darker than the shade that I am. It is the Revlon Colorstay Full Coverage Foundation in matte two or 420 um, mahogany. This foundation, first of all, is very full coverage. Love the shade, everything. I use this actually around the perimeter of my face. And then I was using, when I use my um, L'Oreal, this is like a going out type thing. Like, so if I'm going out at night and stuff and I want to be like full glam, then I was doing the combo of this. So this around the perimeter and then this in the center part of my face because 111 of this foundation shade is like my true color if I haven't had any sun. So in the winter time is definitely more of my color. However, the next color, which is 112, is a little too red undertone for me. Um, so... I like the fact that if I blend it with this, it actually like gives me a really great shade. But this foundation is bomb. I love this. I want to try this in the shade like below this so that I can see what it looks like if I try it all over the face. I do love it. Um, but another foundation that I really do love, but this color, it gives me too many red undertones, I think, um, is the Milani. This Milani Conceal and Perfect two-in-one foundation is really really good the shade that i was using is let's see what color is this 13 chestnut i think i need like 12 or maybe even 11 if it comes in 11 or whatever the shade is before this one. okay so the next step is to conceal underneath my um eye area my forehead and my nose and i sometimes do my chin um so this is the conceal and highlight section of the makeup look so i've been loving these um foundation sticks from wet n wild and in store i have not found my shade um but um they definitely have some lighter shades and so i decided to use this as a concealer instead and i just like the like more full coverage look of it so I just go ahead and run it right underneath the eye. I'm gonna use like the side of it to run it down my nose. And then I just kinda do like a 
arrow kind of and then I'm just gonna tap a little bit on my chin so like I said I like how full coverage it is I'm gonna take that H&M sponge and use like the more pointed tip area and just start tapping that and blending it all in I'm gonna just take the miracle sponge and just tap like like basically right underneath that area so there isn't you know, like a harsh line of like where the concealer and the foundation meet just to blend it out so what I use to set which has also become a favorite of mine is the Fenty Beauty setting powder and so I have the top off because I have product actually inside of the top or the lid um, but I'm using so this is called the pro filter instant retouch setting powder I'm using it in color honey um, I like this shade because obviously it kind of matches the concealer color um, and I just use a nice sponge and actually I need to put some product in here just kind of shake it up and then ooh, you see all that product but I don't need this much but so just take my sponge and dip it right into the product and then kind of squish it together I learned this technique from makeup Shayla and just pat it right where you place that concealer So most people bake, they leave it on for a while. I don't like to leave it on for a very long time because I mean, I don't feel the need to like super bake unless I'm like going out, out. Like I'm like, keep talking about like if I'm going out, like if I'm going to a club, if I'm going out on date night or whatever, then I would typically leave on for a while just to like make it, make it set, 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 set. But um, you know, I'm just here with you guys, showing y'all what I like. So that is that and then I'm gonna just go ahead and start brushing it off of my nose and brushing it off of my under eye so to basically not have such a powdery look after you've like put all of the powder on your face um, I go in with my miracle sponge and I'm going to like it's already damp obviously because I've been using it but I'm going to wet it even more I'm just using a setting spray and I am going to tap all around where I place that powder and this is to also set it that's another reason why I don't feel like I need to bake for a long time because I'm setting that powder into the face it's like melting into the face so now one of my most favorite things to do is to bronze slash contour I love bronzing so another favorite thing that I've picked up recently is or not even recently like I said this is like from May like the summer when I started using this stuff um this is the face stick in sweet cacao cacao <laughs> I think that's how you pronounce it but this is from H&M so it's one of their like foundation sticks it's in um, a darker chocolatey color if you can see that so it's richer than my skin tone so I'm gonna just take a really small amount and pop it right where I would want to bronze my face And then we're going to go ahead and blend that out. Okay, so to like basically set this um, 
foundation. Um, I go on top of it with a bronzing powder or like a more foundation powder so i like the kat von d locket powder i use it it's the locket foundation powder i use it in deep 66 and this is such a great shade especially if you are my skin tone even a little bit darker or a little bit lighter this is a really good um shade to use when you are basically uh bronzing your face it's not too dark, not too ashy, charcoal -y. There's like, I feel like espresso colors for my skin tone and my like undertones are a little too dark sometimes. And it's just, it makes me look more muddy than like contoured. So I'm just taking this angle brush and just placing it basically right on top and doing some like circular motions to blend it in. And then you'll notice that I did not put any of the foundation stick on my forehead, but I do take the powder and I do like chisel out my forehead a little bit. And so with a smaller brush, I'm going to go ahead and do my little nose contour area. Um, and so it's like a really small kind of angled brush. And I'm just going to drag that right on top where I put that foundation stick. And I definitely go into my eye socket, like into the, just to really elongate my nose. But it also like just helps to like give it some type of like depth. Because my eye area is pretty, I don't know, like I like my eyes, but I feel like they are a little bit hooded. So I feel like it just helps to like open it up a bit. So if I want to get a little more snazzy, another one of my favorites is from Fenty Beauty. This is the Sunstalker Instant Warmth Bronzer in Mocha Mommy. First of all, the packaging is beautiful. I know I'm hoping I'm not blinding you guys, but this like bronzy, like rose goldy type color is really pretty this is what mocha mommy looks like very bright very pigmented bomb um i don't take a super dense brush i like to go in with that same like angled brush that's a little more fluffy because this product is super pigmented so i don't even pick up that much um i'm already like basically bronzed and chiseled enough but to make it pop even more you'll see that it just gives it a little more warmth like it just goes the extra mile that's why i like this stuff um yeah i've had this for a while as well and i feel like it just has lasted for forever but like i said you don't need a lot all you need to do is just basically tap your brush in it boom you got all the pigment you need i do go over my eyes if i don't do a like a eyeshadow look which i typically don't usually do eyeshadow looks anymore um i go in with a bronzer to like i said give my eyes a little more depth just because they kind of get lost in the sauce sometimes so i'm just putting some bronzer on there and just give it some color So to kind of blend those colors and not look so harsh, I go in back in with like a fluffy brush and I just kind of do some circular motion just to blend those out a little bit. Blend that forehead area, blend over my eyes and the tip of my nose, just everywhere basically that the bronzer is, just so it's not as harsh. Then to also clean it up, clean up my bronzer that's on my cheeks or in the hollows of my cheeks i go in with the powder and i just kind of create like a line like that on both sides i don't leave it all long because it will give you that like strange halo look that you don't want <laughs> take that fluffy brush again and i'm going to just basically buff that powder away and you see it just kind of gives you like a cleaner like line um so that you're contour bronzer just looks a little more defined and then i'm going to go back over it with that sponge i'm not wetting it over again because it's already wet enough and just tapping on top of where i placed those powders and it just kind of locks it in and 
it just doesn't give you that like powdery look so the next favorite thing which is actually like i love this i would drown myself in this stuff y'all this is also from h&m y'all this should just be titled like products that you should get from h&m this is the golden tan illumination luster powder and i believe the color is called golden tan so this is illumination luster powder in golden tan um it looks like this i've broken this which i'm kind of sad about the top will try to fly off but it has a mirror at the top which i love and i feel like a lot of like drugstore type products and that's what i kind of will equate the price point to is the packaging is not as great but the packaging from h&m i don't know it's just bomb um, but the quality of the products are definitely more high end. So I just usually take my finger and pick up some of the product. Like I said, this is so beautiful. Look at that shade. It's like champagne-y, rose goldy. I don't know. Just beautiful. So I put some at the like bridge of my nose. And then I put some right at the tip of my nose. And then I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush. Either I use a fluffy brush or I use a fan brush to apply it to like the high cheekbones and around the temple. Um, but I've been loving using a fluffy brush a little more because I feel like it's a little more flexible. With the fan, it sometimes gives you like a straight line and I'm like, that's not what I wanted. Um, so you see, I could just, it just effortlessly gives me like a glow. It's a good, like, this color is bomb. I believe this color is very similar to the like Champagne Pop, Becca Cosmetics, Jaclyn Hill collaboration color. Um, they also have one that's like opal or something like that. I think it's very similar to that, but obviously a fraction of the cost. So I do apply a generous amount. As you can see, I'm super high because of the light. Like if the light wasn't there, like I, it wouldn't be crazy, but I know it looks a little, a little crazy. I don't always put some on my cupid's bow because first of all I sometimes break out in this area like not on my lips but in my cupid's bow and I don't know what that's about so I typically don't like to put a lot of products there um but I just put a little razzle dazzle for now um I'm gonna go back in with that fluffy brush and tap on top to blend that powder because like I said I'm looking a little bright just like to tap i don't swipe away i just tap it and it just kind of melts more into the skin and then i do the same thing on the nose just so it's not like that straight line it just kind of looks a little more effortless and blended i'm looking like rudolph the shiny nose reindeer um we're gonna go back in and use that uh, highlighter again in the inner tear ducts but i like to do my um other things to my eyes first um what I'm also going to do is wipe off my lips because I have tons of product on it from foundation to powders to concealer all kind of stuff so now I'm going to go ahead and apply my chapstick so that my lips can you know be moisturized by the time it's time to put on my lipstick I just use the Burt's Bees this has always been a holy grail favorite of mine this is the vitamin E and peppermint one um, I typically like this one better than any of the other ones because I feel like this one is the most moisturized y'all my camera battery exhausted because it's weak as hell <laughs> but I literally took like a whole hour I just let it charge fully 100% I was gonna let it charge to like 50% and just finish the video but I was like you know what let me go ahead and let it charge fully um so the last thing I did was I believe put on highlighter um I'm like basically almost done <laughs> but it's been like I don't even know two hours since I was doing the rest of my makeup so as you can see this is how it's lasted like I I don't even feel I'm not even dewy and I haven't even set my makeup with setting spray so yeah i'll see how putting that powder on and then like setting it like setting the powder with the sponge while it's damp and like pressing it in really seals the deal so um i feel like are y'all can you see can you see okay so um, the next step uh, um, that I do like after I do my highlighter is to go ahead and start on my eyes. So one of my other favorites that I've been loving to do is apply a white liner or I will show you the other one as well if I can find her. Let me... Anyway, I can't find it right now, but it is a like more of a nudish 
peachy type of color um but using white is also like clutch so i like to use white as my eyeliner because it helps make your eyes super bright and pop it like makes them really big i feel like um and i feel like my eyes can easily look really closed in just because I don't know like the shape of my eye naturally so when I do black eyeliner um it gives me this more of a squinted kind of look it looks kind of sultry it's nice but I feel like the white just makes it just pop and I just like for my eyes to pop especially because I don't typically do any type of um eyeshadows really like I I kind of shy away from eyeshadow looks just because obviously it takes longer and I'm just not as skilled in that. I haven't been practicing a lot. So, oh, and this is from, hello, let me tell y'all where it's from. This is Wet n Wild. This is their Color Icon Cold Pencils. This is super creamy. Um, if you know anything about Wet n Wild, super, super affordable. Okay, so I go in with a smudge brush. Let me try to find it. Um, just to kind of, um, I guess, set it, smudge it out so that it doesn't necessarily like bleed all over the place. So next product that I love is this mascara. Y'all, like I don't wear false lashes, not because I'm against it, just I haven't mastered that. I haven't practiced. I haven't really wanted to. Um, like here and there, I'll see people with false lashes and I'm like, oh, I should probably try, but I just haven't because I naturally like my lashes. I used to have really, really long lashes. And then one day I went and got some lash extensions done and my lashes have never been the same. So I'm kind of like bittersweet. I have like a I have like a like ill feeling towards like extensions um but it could have just been an experience but anyway i am a sucker for a really really good mascara like because i don't wear false lashes my mascara needs to really work well with my lashes so this one is from essence you can get this at ulta i love this brand it's super affordable i believe this is like four dollars like three and some change plus tax obviously this is the get big lash volume curl in lash lifting it's in color black i believe um this stuff just works so well so what i do i put on like fifty thousand coats <laughs> i get really close to the um mirror and then i tilt my mirror downward so that i'm looking down at the actual mirror and this helps to like make sure that you're getting every single you can see all your lashes so you get to every single lash and that's what i do So I've applied a generous amount onto the um, top lashes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply some to the bottom lashes.
Okay, so I've applied <laughs> three coats of mascara on my lashes and now I'm gonna go back into that highlighter. I was saying that I was gonna use this again and I go into my inner tear duct and I place the highlighter right in there. I use like a pencil brush or something that kind of has like a point to it typically just so that it can like get into that inner like corner um but if not I'm gonna actually use this brush which is a really interesting like I don't even know how to describe it but it's like a uh, like a really small fine precision type of brush and I'm just gonna pick up that oof color had a little fallout and then just Pop it right in this inner tear duct area. I'm going out on Saturday and I wish and hope my contacts are here by then because one, it really helps me <laughs> to actually see what I'm doing, like instead of having to be like all up on the mirror, you know what I'm saying? But it I just feel like my makeup looks can be a little more dramatic when I don't have to wear my glasses. Like I feel like my glasses are hiding like this whole section of my face, not even just my eyes, but like the whole perimeter of the top portion of my face. So I don't know, I just, I hope that they're here, but if they're not, oh well, oh well. I'm not one of those people too who can just like walk out with no glasses because I got to see, I need to see, okay? I'm gonna try to blend that out a little bit. I'm gonna use this like thicker, like tapered brush and just blend that in that area and to make it pop just a little bit more i'm actually gonna go in with um this other um highlighter this is from milani it's this really beautiful golden color and it is uh strobe light glowing number four and i love i love this as well but it's this is not this is not new to me this is very old so i won't say that this is a 2019 favorite because i've had this since like 2017. no no 2018. and see it just kind of pops a little bit more so there we go um so what i'm going to do now is go ahead and mist my face one of my most favorite setting sprays has been the morphe continuous spray love it i actually ran out i don't even have the bottle anymore but i'll insert a little photo here love that i mean that spray is bomb first of all the continuous spray that you don't have to keep all over your face is bomb in itself but what i've been using is the essence this is the instant matte makeup spray i love mattifying sprays because like i said i get very oily and i tend to use like I look like I'm glowing because I definitely put on a lot of highlighter so I feel like this kind of calms it down just a little bit. Then I'm going to top it again with this Milani Make It Last spray and this is not bad at all either. I feel like I like this one. I like to use this one when I'm wetting my brushes too. But it gets your face super drenched. So what I'm going to do now is take my fan and just fan my face. Dry it all down. One thing I realized that I forgot to do is put on a blush. Now, I don't wear a blush every day. But one of my favorite blushes is from none other, of course, H&M. Um, I got this one. Look at this cute little shape. I'm loving it. Um, and it's a super pigmented, beautiful, like cayenne type of color. Love this. It's super pigmented, like I said. So a little bit goes a very, very, very long way. So I'm going to just take this nice fluffy brush kind of tap it in there and then I'm going to just kind of pop it on the rosiest part highest point of my cheeks and like backward into the contour um what I learned is that you actually should not smile as you pop on your blush because I mean you can smile to figure out where your like highest point of your cheeks are or you know where you naturally would put the blush but I learned that you, you're you not supposed to smile because typically all day, you're not like she's in hard as hell. You know, you you want it to rest where it's going to be. Um, and so you just not supposed to smile, apparently. Okay, 
So I'm gonna touch up a little bit with some powder just cause I am feeling a little glossy now. In the most like places where I would naturally like get oily and then I'm just tapping it with my brush. And I put that powder on top of my highlight. It's still there, y'all. It's still there. I'm just really combating any of that, like, oils that I see. Okay. So, now for the last, very, very, very last step. Two of my most favorite things that I've been wearing on my lips have been these two from Fenty Beauty. These are the Stunna Lip Paint, which is basically their um, liquid lipsticks. And if I'm wearing a nude, then I'm wearing the Unveil, which is this really beautiful like brown nudie type color. And if I'm wearing a bold lip, more than likely nine times out of ten, a red lip, it is this one. It's not a true red. It kind of gives you like some strawberry red with like pink undertones type of vibes and this is in uncensored so these two have been basically in my rotation of lipsticks if I'm not wearing these I'm probably just like I just did a random pull from my lip drawer and just decided to wear something different but more than likely it's these two so to kind of do a more like bold lip should I do the red or should I do the nude nude has been my go-to but so has the red but i think i'm gonna go ahead and pop this red well let me see i'm gonna pop the red on pop the nude i don't know why y'all seem so tall right now okay <clears throat> i think i'm gonna go ahead and do the nude just because this is a very like oh, i'm so torn this is this is me every day when i'm getting ready to go out i'm like okay well what am i wearing exactly and then i'll figure out my outfit and then i'll pop on either the red or the nude lip um I really don't have plans. I just got some text messages. I don't have any plans. So this makeup look might just be coming off in a couple of hours. But. <sighs> oh my God. Um, hmm. Because right now with this coral shirt on, obviously, if I keep this on for the rest of the day. <sighs> I don't know. The nude will look better than doing red with a coral shirt. We're gonna do the nude lip. So I moisturized my lips earlier, but I wanna kind of like take off a bit of it just to kind of get my lips prepped and ready. Okay, so. I just love how comfortable it is to wear this. Like, it's so liquidy. So when you're popping it on, it's not like you're like plastering on some thick, like ugly lipstick. You know, have you ever had those really thick uh, liquid lipsticks that are just like, oh my God. And then it just dries down so comfortable. Oh my God. And I don't even need to use like a lip liner with this. This is what I also love. It's kind of like low maintenance. So I have this, which is a, it's um, from Wet n Wild. It's their liquid cat suit like line and so they have like the matte lipsticks and then they also have the glosses i want to get a couple more of their glosses to be honest but um i'm gonna pop this on top and i just pop it on the bottom and then rub it together for the top this is the look using all of my like favorite products that i have accumulated over you know the course of this last year um things that i've been loving and going to and repeatedly purchasing and stuff like that so um i hope that you enjoyed this fake tutorial <laughs> because i'm no makeup artist but this is what i do um this is the makeup that i've been using and loving so far i definitely want to try some more foundations i'm trying to figure out if i'm going to keep this um il maquillage foundation let me know down below what you think of it um i know that by the time i probably upload this video it will probably be past the 14 days i'm debating on keeping it um 
I just, I don't know. I'm just kind of on the fence about it because I really, I feel like if there's a foundation, a base that is going on, it should be super effortless and it should just be like the best base ever. And I don't feel like that foundation is the best. Um, yeah, I feel like it works, but I have to do like a lot of different things and I'm just like, no. Nah. Especially for $40, y'all. I'm like, I could probably go back and repurchase my Fenty if that's the case. So, um, let me know what you think down below. Let me know what some of your favorite um, new or older products, whatever it is that you loved in 2018. Let me know down below. We can have a discussion, talk about it, do some girl talk, girl chat. And oh, I forgot one more thing. This is my last, very last, and this is actually the very last step. This is the thing that I do right before I spray down my face. Usually this Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. This is bomb. So it definitely helps to make my lash, my lashes, my brows stay in place. Cause I have some kind of longer lashes and I'll kind of get closer, but I go upward. As you see, like the hairs are like, and this just really locks like all of that into place. So I don't have to really focus on my brows. I'm not thinking about my brows. My brows do not budge. They're not like unruly and crazy. I feel like it just kind of tames them. And I love like brushing the hairs upward in the front to like make them kind of look bushier than they are. And then just slide it over. And this legit now is the very last step. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will try to make more videos. Let me know down below. Also, if there's something that you want me to necessarily like do, like a video, um, fashion, home, beauty, lifestyle, vlogging, whatever it is, um, just let me know. <laughs> and I will try to start doing those things. Um, well, yeah, this is it. This is your girl. And then I can put my glasses back on so y'all can see what it looks like with glasses. And there she goes. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for watching this video. See you in my next one.